I'm filming this on May 1st, 2016, and today is the most important day of my entire life because today is the day that my daughter was born. How you doing everybody? I'm Matt Green. So yeah, I became a father today and I'm feeling all of the emotions. Just all of them. But like me, I'm a father. <laughs> At first I was really scared, but uh, now that she's here in the world, I couldn't be happier. So without further ado, this is my daughter. Her name is Kinsley Mary Elizabeth, and she is beautiful. She's six pounds, seven ounces, and she's very, very healthy. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, or if you know me personally, you probably have a lot of questions. So let's just start answering them. No, uh, me and her mother are not together. Yes, we are friends, and yes, we are on good terms, which I think is really good. It's a tricky situation because I live in Newfoundland, Canada, and they live in Alberta. So right now, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do the whole distance thing. I don't really know what to do, but what I do know is that I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to make this work, and I've never been so sure about anything in my entire life. When she first told me that she was pregnant, I was shocked, obviously. Uh, it's not something we had planned. Uh, you know, we were friends. And she gave me the option of walking away. And she said, I won't hold this against you, and we don't have to tell her, and I'll do this by myself. And uh, we used to fight a lot, like argue over stupid stuff. At first, you know, I was in a really bad place. Not not because of that, but just in my life in general. You know, like drinking too much, broke, depressed, anxious, no purpose in life. And I didn't think I had anything to offer a child. I didn't think I could do any good to be involved in someone else's life. So I considered walking away. I considered it. I thought I had nothing. But as we got closer, to the due date, I just, be I just became less and less okay with the idea of not being involved in my little girl's life. And I just like, it was all I ever thought about and it was eating me up inside and I was just like, no, I can't, I can't let that happen. I grew up not knowing my father and I didn't want to do that to a little girl, especially my little girl. So after a lot of stressful evenings and thinking all the time, something happened in my life that I, I'm not gonna talk about, but changed my perspective. And it was like, I woke up for the first time in my whole life, and I wanted to be in this, I wanted to do it. And I've been making some pretty dramatic changes to my life for the better. I've been a child for too long, and it's time to grow up, because now someone is counting on me, and I'm gonna be there for her. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I do know that I am gonna do it. Because now I finally have purpose. I know what I'm supposed to do. And I'm going to do anything and everything for that little girl. You know, at first, because me and uh, her mother were just friends, you know, I questioned whether or not uh, she was she was going to be mine. And, you know, she told me she did, like, the, a timeline with her doctor or whatever and traced it back to a time where it could only have been me. And I, even still, I was a little uneasy. It was always in the back of my mind. But... When I saw that picture today, there was no doubt in my mind because that little girl looks just like me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, it's all in the nose. You know what I mean? This nose right here, I know this nose very well. Uh, it's, it's been on my face my whole life, but just look, that is the same nose. Like picture my nose on a baby, not fully grown yet, and it's, it looks like that. And I know that because I have this nose my mother has this nose, my grandfather has this nose, and now my baby girl has it. And everybody I've shown the picture to so far has been like, have you noticed the she, she looks like you? I'm like, yeah. That yeah, was like the first thing I noticed, but I'm really happy about it, and she's, she's gorgeous, and I can't wait to meet her. So yeah, if you're wondering why she isn't here with me, it's because I'm on the other side of the country, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get there so I can meet my daughter, and Kim, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for everything. I'm here now, and I'm ready to put 100% of my effort into it. And you should know that, and I mean it. And Kinsley, I know you don't even realize you're in this world yet, but I love you, and I love you more than anything I've ever loved in my entire life. And I mean that from the 
bottom of my heart.